Welcome to Tech Path. I'm your host, Paul Barron, and we're going to continue our coverage on CES 2021. And of course, AI technology is the thing that I think most companies are most challenged with today. Uh, we will see a lot happening in the AI space and how it affects different kinds of things like robotic data, big data, and also some of the technology that we'll be using uh, just in our regular everyday life. This will be fun to watch. Uh, it is going to be interesting, I think. And of course, some of the stuff that was released at CES uh, 2021 is kind of fun. Samsung unveiled, unveiled uh, their new bot care, which is uh, basically kind of a, a butler. Uh, we'll, get, we'll kind of call it just that. They also have a handy, a handy bot or a handy robot. Uh, and these, this is no more than the, I can't remember the technology that was used from the little bumper uh, you know, vacuum system, but essentially those that you have one that does that and another that is a full on robot that is trying to basically do uh, general house chores, everything from picking up laundry, uh, organizing things, uh, and even in the video, it shows it pouring your wine. I got to see that if they can select a wine out of a, uh, <laughs> if that robot can actually tell which wine to choose. That'll be fun to watch. Also, Panasonic is joining Sony in relying on AI to improve TV picture quality. Okay, so this is going to be, I think, a thing because with streaming and with the, um, I guess, I won't say yet the demise of movie theaters, but definitely the uh, considered hampering of movie theaters and release of big blockbuster movies. We're gonna need great TV picture quality to kind of amp the game up. The HCX Pro AI chip can identify the content you're viewing and auto adjust the image and the sound to match. This would be kind of cool because that's one of the biggest problems with TV. If you are dealing with an action flick and you know you can barely hear the dialogue and then all of a sudden it's moving, whether it's if you're watching a Star Wars flick or you know a Bruce Willis film, it doesn't matter. It's all in that same kind of scenario because you don't have that ability to handle Dolby sound like what you see in a movie theater. You're dealing with a completely different situ situation and viewing experience in your living room. Uh, another thing that I think is gonna happen in AI, and this is one that was kind of uh, introduced to us um, here on the network, is Neon, uh, which is a chatbot that essentially is using humanoid look and feel uh, to inter uh, basically integrate chatbots into all sorts of things around customer service. The issue behind uh, humanoid feel chatbots it's a little creepy. I have seen some of the videos and some of the interactions with uh, Neon, and it's it's creepy at first, but I think after you get used to it, it's gonna be interesting, because I think in the future, there's possible that people may not even know that they're actually talking or chatting with an AI entity rather than a human. This is gonna be a technology I think that we will need. It is going to put a huge dent in the customer service market. This technology is getting more advanced, it's getting better, and it's getting more frequently used, whether it's going on websites, full-blown uh, interactivity on, and I did it, uh, just did this the other day with a mobile chat, uh, where I actually got a chance to see the person on the other end, and they were doing screen shares and all that kind of thing. I think those kinds of aspects and use cases are gonna be a big factor for exploding the, uh, the AI market and how it's being used, uh, especially around new advancements in technology. I think customer service is gonna be the one to watch though. Make sure and stay tuned right here on TechPath. We're gonna be covering more technology topics. Uh, we will be diving deep into the EV market and also into AI. As we move forward on additional episodes, uh, you can always uh, catch us on Twitter and catch me on Twitter at Paul Barron. We'll catch you soon right here on TechPath.